Now, let's multiply a single digit number and a two digit number using the grid method. First, we have four times 66. What we need to do is partition our two digit number into tens and ones. So this six stands for 60 and this six stands for six. So what we can do is multiply four by 60 then multiply four by six and then add up our answers. So we can write our single digit number on the left of our grid and our partitioned number, so 60 and six on top. Now for this box here, we need to work out four times 60. That's 240 because four times six is 24 and then we need our end zero because in 60 we have six tens. And now for this box here, we need four times six, so that's 24. So now all we need to do is add up our answers and 240 plus 24 is 264, so that's our answer. Now we have 79 times six. We can partition 79 into 70 and nine. So now what we can do is multiply six by 70, then multiply six by nine, and then add up our answers. So again, we can have our single digit number on the left of our grid and our partitioned number, so 70 and nine on top. Now six times 70 is 420 because six times seven is 42, and then we need our end zero. And here we need six times nine, which is 54. So now we add our answers and 420 plus 54 is 474. So that's our answer. Now, if we look at this first question again, we had four times 66. Now we can show 66 using place value counters. We have six tens and six ones. And because the other number in our multiplication is four, we can show 66, two, three, four times. So now we have 24 ones, but we can regroup those into two tens and four ones. And we can regroup our tens as well because 10 tens can be exchanged for 100. So now you can see that we have two hundreds, six tens and four ones. So that's 264. Then we had 79 times six. So we can show 79 as seven tens and nine ones. We're multiplying by six. So we can show 79, two, three, four, five, six times. So now we can regroup 10 ones to make 110. And we can regroup 10 tens to make 100. And when we do that, you can see that we now have four hundreds, seven tens and four ones. So that's 474. Now for this first question, we needed to work out four times 66. But if we add the 60 times table and the six times table, we get the 66 times table. So we could work out that four times 60 is 240 and four times six is 24. And that means that four times 66 is the total of 240 and 24. So that's 264. Then our next question was 79 times six, which is the same as six times 79. Again, if we add the 70 times table and the nine times table, we get the 79 times table. So we could work out six times 70 and then six times nine and adding up those answers gave us the answer to six times 79. 